Here we are in Bali in Changu and we've given ChatGPT the task of planning our itinerary for the next two days. So, should we have a look at what it says? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. We'll punch it in right now. We're going to punch it in to ChatGPT and see what it spits back out at us. It's going to be pretty interesting. Plan my two-day trip to Bali, Changu, Changu area, area, including surfing at Old Man's, Cool places to eat and nice places for sunset. All right, drum roll. Drum roll. What does it say? Chat GPT, what does it say? All right, day one, here we go. Morning, start your day with a surf session at Old Man's Beach in Changu. Cool. Afternoon, explore the nearby Echo Beach and grab lunch at a beachside cafe like Echo Beach Club. All right, that sounds very delightful. Thank you, Chat GPT. Evening, head to Deuce Ex Machina for a unique combination of a restaurant, art gallery, and surf shop. All right, that's a tick. Everyone knows about Deuce Ex Machina in Bali. It's a bit of a big, big brand name. Uh, and then the night, enjoy dinner at the lawn. Lovely spot, that's right near Old Man's. So kind of spending a bit of time in that particular area, offering a great beachfront atmosphere. Lovely, all right. Cool, moving on to day two. So morning is begin with another surf session or explore Changu's vibrant street art scene. Afternoon, have lunch at the Betel Nut Cafe for a mix of healthy and tasty dishes. Evening, visit Tanalot Temple for a stunning sunset experience. And night, wrap up your trip with dinner at La Brisa, a beach club with a boho chic vibe. Cool, well that's handy. Like Tanalot's a bit of a journey from where we are, but La Brisa is legitimately just across the road, probably not even like 50 metres away, so that's very convenient. We are in Changu, so all of these things are pretty much right in the area. We're not having to go like miles away to Uluwatu or Ubud to, you know, maximise our two days in Bali because that's all we've got before we go back home to Perth. Mm. Just a, just our little pit stop on the way back from Japan just to thaw out and, and defrost. Uh... Get ready for the Perth weather. Yeah, so, all right, well, here we are. Let's uh, let's go get stuck into it. Let's make it happen. Chat GPT for the win. Let's do it. All righty, so what's on the list of things to do? We're gonna go surfing. Ooh, let's learn to surf. At Old Man's. At Old Man's, well, if you don't already know how to surf, <laughs> you have to learn. So, so we're coming here for Peter. <laughs> coming here for me. Yeah, for me and my kook style. Yeah. I'll show you how it's done. Show me. Yeah. Show us. Show us. See how she goes. Hopefully you'll pick it up quickly. You know. Yeah, I know. No. Well, we're gonna first. We're gonna take you down here, lay you on the beach, get some paddle techniques, see what your pop up looks like, and we'll go from there. I like how you speak about yourself in the third person so often. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whatever. Cheeky shit. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Pretend to paddle. <laughs> and then jump up. Hey! That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Alrighty. Out there. old man's surfing with all the old man's uh i was one of them yeah cam was definitely <laughs> one of the old man's i felt like an old man because i was trying to manage the gopro out there and it was a bit too hard i should have taken my bite mouth out there your bite mouth but i got to take it so it was a bit of a kook mission really and so i've just brought it back in and plonked it on the beach and uh Oh wow, that chick just got absolutely smashed on the shore. That was pretty much Cam right down there. Oh. That chick that just got cartwheeled right there. <laughs> She's pulling herself back together. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so I, I did catch a few waves mm. and I stood up. I did stand. You did, yeah, you but, did uh, good. Yeah, it was yeah. quite good. Like the waves were kind of large, but I don't know if you've ever surfed at Old Man's, like Changu. It's 
those really like big fat rolly waves. I'm used to surfing a shorter board, so I had this ginormous nine foot mal log beast thing. And even for me, that was kind of hard work. I was like, oh man, I prefer like 6.3 pintail sort of short board. It's way more fun, way more enjoyable. Yeah. But, you know, you get what you get. Yeah, but you know, I did stand up a few times and I've got the little rushes to Oh, <laughs> look at that. Bloody hell. A little bit of leg rash right there. That's no good. But, uh, no pain, no gain, right? No pain, no gain. <laughs> it's all about the experience. Building, building that tough muscle. Mm, mm. What will AI get us to do next? Who knows? It's a mystery. It is a mystery. Anyway, we're going to go back to the house, quickly have a shower and just refresh. And then we're going to go on to stage two of two days in Bali. What do you do? What does AI tell you to do? We Let's do whatever it tells us to do. We will do it. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. So we have the shop up there to do our machine. Parked our little scooty patootie in the park. And uh, it looks like it's about to rain. So it's, uh, it's definitely sprinkles. Moment, so We've got a little bit of weather coming in. Should we go check it out? I think we should go inside and have a little have a little look see, see what this place is all about. The temple of enthusiasm apparently. Yeah. Never come to my gig anyone, trust me it'll be no good. Looks like a pretty spicy little number. So good. Is it? Delicious. Oh yeah. Yeah, go on. Give me a try. Where's the straw? Really strawberry, hey? Oh yeah. That is the goods. So I'll return that to the right for Lona. Oh baby. Our next uh, AI destination at the lawn for dinner. But if the weather stays the way it is... Yeah, we might have to rethink situations because we're not going to get the sunset that we wanted. So we may do Warong instead. We might find a local Warong. Otherwise, there is Hotel Mexicola next door to the lawn, which That's is true. pretty yeah. undercover, so we can always opt for that. Give that a go. So you've got to be ready to fly. If ChatGPT can't predict the weather, then... Um, have to make arrangements as the weather dictates. Absolutely. We just got delivered our very reasonably priced loaded fries. Yep. Only, only $4.50 pretty much in Aussie terms. And just got... quite a while. And I just really lied to you before. I said that there would be chicken, but actually it's tomato and probably onion and tomato. cheese. Tomato. It's still good. Still good. What do you think? I'm not with you. It's actually quite nice. You could add the um, the chicken or pork or, or, chorizo. or chorizo. You had a few options there to add. Yeah. Alrighty, Roo. So we have just oh, almost got a water, water droplet right on the lens. Uh, we yeah, have just wet. finished at Do X Machina. It has started raining. It is lovely. Uh, don't let friends drink and drive, that's probably a wise thing. Um, but we have had a couple of strawberry margaritas yeah. here at Duex Machina and they were quite lovely. The first one that you had though was much better. It was the best. The first one was strawberry and it was just so good. And then the second one was a little less, I don't know, it was like a little watered down or something. It was um, still good but not as good as the first. No, the first one was excellent. The second one sort of just uh, fell, fell short. But anyway, we're uh, just walking along the sidewalk here. Luigi's. Ah, oh, Luigi's. Oh. Apparently this was the spot for uh, great pizzas. Anyway, so yeah, there we go. Doing Machina. Uh, chat GPT for the... Uh, you know, chat GPT for a bit of a win there. I feel like I it was quite successful. Well. Just we a cool... enjoyed our happy hour meal and... 
Yeah, it's just a cool place. Like I was gonna look at, look into buying a singlet there, but in terms of barley prices, it was uh, I don't know, like over 40 bucks Aussie. So you know, I know it's a brand and everything, but I'd rather look for some uh, cheap barley deals while I'm here. Anyway, we're gonna jump on our wet seat right now. We should have brought us a towel. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's massive. Nice Old Scoopy is a bit moist. So we've just rocked up at the highest rating Warung uh, in Changu and uh, unfortunately it is closed. Oh. Warung Danang has got no life. It and it's is. like a little slice of paradise. You're like off the beaten track, off the craziness of Changu. Yeah. And uh, it's closed. So maybe we'll have to try come tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Maybe give it another crack. Maybe it's good for breakfast. Who knows? Who knows? We'll have to suss it out. But anyway, we're going to have to reassess our options and uh, find another authentic Warung dispensary. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, hopefully get better better luck because here we've just got dung. <laughs> <laughs> so, where have we ended up? We are at Warung Han Dega. Warung Han Dega. And we've ordered some Nazi grain and some Mee grain with chicken. And I've also ordered a juice. And you've got a bin tag. I've got a bin tag, yeah. So this little Warung currently has a 4.9 on the old Google. So, Warung uh, Danang closed. Warung Mama closed. Um, this is our third time lucky. Third time's charm. We went past another one called Barang Local. And I think if we came here and this was closed, we would have ended up going there. But oh, um, here we go. So, yeah, this is a little space here. It's, uh, it's, I'll show you, I'll give you a little tour in. A few little dartan ends right there. Got the pooch. Hello, pooch. It's a cute little dog. Alright, so this is a little situation. Yes, yeah, right here in the mini mart. And uh, we're on Pandega. It's just literally this sign and that thing and the juice sign. Changu Batu Balong. Uh, healthy juice. Your local taste. I've got some nice signage. And yeah, you literally just pop in this little door right in here. Here's our little cooking situation in the front here. Looks legit. And Hello! ChatGPT has not come up with this one, so... No, definitely not. We're making our own route here. We're straying from the rules. We'll see what happens. We've got the old pump down here, and guard bed. Everything's looking very... It's looking. <laughs> it's looking. <laughs> it's got to be calm. Be calm. No one said they got stuck on there, which is a good thing. I'll go wrong with a bin tang. Tasty and juice. Tasty juice. Right. Yep, delicious. Delicious. Fresh juice. Delicious fresh juice. And Apple, carrot, orange. Delicious small bin tang. Cheers. Was that a fail? I just made it out of the fiery depths of hell. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty grim, I'm not gonna lie. It's grim. The toilet here is not so crash hot, homies, so if you want a nice clean porcelain bowl, <laughs> go <laughs> elsewhere. Don't do it. <laughs> All right, baby, 
food has arrived. What are the thoughts? I reckon it looks pretty good. I think it looks good. Looks pretty like OG. What have we got here? We got the nazi goreng. Nazi goreng with chicken. And we've got me goreng here. So some authentic uh, Indo cuisine. I think we're gonna have a bit of time here. This looks great. A bit of a time, sure. Only one thing. Only one way to try. That's how I get stuck in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that is one empty plate, and that is another empty plate. Satisfied. Satisfied. Satisfied? Yeah. Feels yeah. good. Feels good. Mm, I think Very so. Very tasty. What do you think? I think, yeah. Like, I probably could have ordered a double size of it, mm. and a double size would have only cost four dollars, four bucks essentially, and I would have been full to the brim. Well, um, Pandega for the win. For the win. For the win. That's fine. That was traveling with AI day one in Bali. Make sure you tune in for day two, and if you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and comment.